just imagine if Finn Balor decided to wear his body paint, win this match, and come out later in the night with messed up body paint. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Every single career on this roster. Every single career on the roster. Tilted cameras. I invite you to join us on Let's social media. Has hashtag the Dusty Classic. Nope. What? Scott was watching Finn the whole time and could have ducked that clothesline easily. And another huge drop kick. Too late, Scott. That just looked like you jumped out of the ring for a little joyride rather than from taking Finn's drop kick. Finn. Finn is a dick to arms. Sent to the outside. Oh. Oh. After Wilder was sent to the outside. From watching the replay, Scott didn't even connect with the chop block and Finn jumped likely for the fun of it. If Finn managed to recover from that, it's only because he was playing possum. Tweets! Screw off! Watching NXT here. Power slam! Cover! Um, one of Dash's shoulders was up the whole time. Two count or not, pinfall should have been invalid. Power, to the final. Looks more like Scott is dancing along to Finn's music rather than throwing a temper tantrum from the loss. No one cares what's trending. Show some, no pun intended, respect and stop showing the trends. Also, I've never seen a Twitter trend graphic stay on the screen for as long as this one did. That graphic right there stayed for about 30 freaking seconds. Couldn't have just given it 10 seconds or 5 seconds or just don't show it, period? Chanting for Chad Gable is one thing, but why the sing-songy shit? Damn. Quite a shame that the camera wasn't able to get that. Oh my, my god! Baron goodness. Corbin, did you hear that thud? No, we didn't hear it. Baron Corbin generally, genuinely doesn't care. Baron Corbin doesn't generally, genuinely care? Putting generally and genuinely side by side doesn't really go good. You could either say he generally doesn't care or he genuinely doesn't care. Money, cash checks. That tweet stating one more victory and let's cinch those tag team titles. Whoever wrote that is a stupid idiot, as Joe and Finn are clearly competing for the Dusty Rhodes Trophy, not the NXT Tag Team titles. Byron, I've never been on a roller coaster that kicked me in the face at the end of it. What the fuck does that have to do with this tag team match? Are you bored or something, Corey? Oh, Jason. Jason clearly missed that punch completely. Game on for the victory! Oh my- oh. You'd have to call me a moron to not remove a sin from that impressive feat of strength. Baron Corbin! Oh, oh my god! god. And and another center move for that awesome counter. On the right, Dana Brooke. On the left, some chick that came in as a joke, got a makeover, and now won't even bother to show up. <laughs> Head padding. Also, does that technically count as tapping out? LOL. Elbow right to the oh. head. Oh. Whoa, I'm removing two sins. That was amazing. Uh -oh. <laughs> leave her alone? Why would Asuka leave Dana alone if they had a match going on? Next time, make sense with your comments at Asuka, Emma. Ah, <laughs> you missed Dana completely. Are you kidding me? Oh, wow. Post-match assault. WWE stands for World Wrestling Entertainment. Which everyone is banned from saying for some reason. Previously on NXT TakeOver Respect. Oh, oh. What? Did Apollo manage to connect with a dropkick before his feet even touched Tyler's shoulder? How's that possible? Apollo is literally five inches away from the ropes, and yet he hasn't even attempted to reach for them. Honestly, if he had tapped out from the position he's in, it'd definitely make a lot of fans face palm. Breeze, oh! Oh! Get the the cruise, I mean, limping over to Breeze. Apollo was likely limping over to Tyler because of him slapping his own leg as hard as he could when he delivered that kick. Again, that oh, oh! back! My super goodness! Kick. Supermodel kick? That is one of the stupidest names to give a super kick. Oh! Oh! Breeze again! Nope, Tyler missed. This is the second time in less than 20 minutes that we've seen this replay from earlier tonight. Also, three minutes of flashbacks that we already seen an hour and then less than an hour ago. Good God. By the way, you guys probably thought I would be criticizing Finn Balor on not defending the NXT Championship tonight. Well, you're wrong, because at least he showed up, and he's competing twice, even if they're both non-title matches. Now that's a true champion right there. Ring announcer waits until the wrestlers are in the ring before giving introductions in a non-championship match because fuck you, right? Join us on social media, use the hashtag TheDustyClassic. Nah, I'd rather watch this very important match than look down on my phone, tweet, and miss an epic moment. Still do what they can. Finn had a lot of trouble walking to the ring, but as soon as he starts the match, his leg magically reheals itself because magic. If you think of a football player or a hockey player playing in a big game, you find out Commentators reduced to talking about football and hockey games at freaking NXT. No, 
but Finn Balor is not in 100. This is something that is completely unheard of in my opinion. The fans are actually chanting boring at an NXT TakeOver event, and I am shocked. Yeah, but is there a reason to try to do even further damage to perhaps ripple Finn Balor? Jeez, you act like wrestlers attacking injured legs are unheard of. You are a stupid idiot. Yes! Here comes Joe! Ah, Rhino got caught on the ropes. Yay, we won! Now make out with me right now, Finn. Dusty Rose, we're here today to see this effort of Finn Balor. He Whoa, you're just giving Finn Balor the credit here? What is Samoa Joe, luggage? Jesus, Byron. As a congratulations to the team and in honor of respect to Dusty, I'm deducting 15 cents. Why is the theme for Lower and Cage just playing? There is no cage match tonight. This contest will be 30 minutes in length. Okay, so this is the 30 minute Iron Man match. Totally fine with it. But if you really wanted to make massive history, you could have made it a 60 minute match like a majority of Iron Man matches in WWE are. Join us on social media during this matchup. Hell no! This is a first in history. First ever Iron Man match involving the females. Why would I waste my time on Twitter during that? The first 90 seconds of this match is wasted to stare downs. Maybe somewhat alright to waste time with that in regular matches, but you girls are on the clock here. I absolutely hate it when the clock disappears off the screen. Makes me lose track of where we are and how much time we have left. We just locked up and began this historic match. You know what we should do? Waste another 30 seconds to stare downs just to piss off Hunter Bane. Brilliant! Whoa! Wow. What the hell was that? Did Bailey deliver a suplex throw to the air and Sasha somehow flipped over too? Is Bailey secretly a magician? Seven minutes into this 30 minute match and all we've seen are a couple of lockups, a suplex throw, stare downs, and now a handshake. Wait a minute. Damn it, if I had known that Sasha would be pressing her ass against my face, I would have signed on to officiate this match. That referee just had the time of his life. But she had a cut a corner and break a rule and now she's got a pinfall and it's not right. But hurt Byron, quit your whining and crying. Whoever gets the most decisions, pinfall submissions, will be declared the winner. Don't forget countouts and disqualifications. This matchup will be declared the winner. Wait, so you mean to say that it doesn't matter who wins because the matchup will be declared the winner? How does a match win a match? Softest running to the stairs I have ever seen. Sasha Banks mouth and off. That's totally uncalled for. It's called being a great villain, Byron. Shut up. Also, we've seen many wrestlers get in the face of people in the crowd and no one said anything about that before. Who cares if Sasha talks smack to the crowd? Gives her more heat. Oh, 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 my man. Goodness, right. Property damage. What was that? Sasha Banks. Okay, I'm totally fine with Sasha taunting fans in the crowd, but I draw the line at stealing. Yeah. Oh, boy, Sasha wasting time monologuing. Sasha didn't stomp on Bailey's head. She stomped on Bailey's arm, clear as day. Wait, wait. Both Bailey and Sasha have been outside the ring for over a minute, and the referee hasn't even started a count. I don't see how the fans are looking at the scoreboard when they are clearly looking at the ring. Byron, maybe a few people are just staring at the scoreboard, but not everyone is. Both of these ladies, oh, goodness, Bailey and Bailey, Bailey may get her here. Are you fucking kidding me right now? First off, that was a pretty good Bailey to belly from the second row. But regardless, Bailey could have easily pinned Sasha in the middle of the ring right there when Sasha was lying on her back. But what does Bailey do? She rolls Sasha over to make sure she's as close to the ropes as possible. You had one job, Bailey. One job! What happens if we tick down to the final minutes here and we're still tied at two? Jesus Christ, if you really knew your Iron Man matches, you obviously know what happens when the time is up and there is a tie. We go into overtime and keep going, you stupid idiot. You think Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels wanted to settle for a draw? No, they went into overtime. Corey Graves would make an excellent co-host of CinemaSins 2 Expansion with me. No clue, wait a minute! Bailey to Bailey! Copyright infringement. With only 18 seconds remaining, it's obvious that Sasha's gonna submit given Bailey the victory. This was one of the best celebrations I've seen in recent memory. Thank you, Bailey and Sasha, for putting on an epic performance. Let's remove another 15 sins to finish off this sin video.